Well, it's another lovely day in paradise. And... Don't show that I'm Don't show that <laughs> I've got some really good news. Well, for me anyway. Um, I've recently changed my diet. And as you all know, I was uh, constantly having problems with uh, chest infections and uh, my health wasn't all that good I was putting a horrendous amount of weight on and I decided to change my diet because I got a really bad shock um, a month or so ago when uh, I nearly passed out and it was like really weird like I'd, I'd lost all sense of where I was for like it seemed longer but I, I guess it was only for a few seconds whatever and um, since then I've been looking online at uh, dietary stuff and you know um, causes of chest infections this that and the other and it all boils down to diet basically I mean whether you're in the west or wherever you are diet is a is a should be a high priority um, but you know with the pressures of life and working we don't always follow the correct uh, dietary uh, requirements I guess and when you come somewhere like this and I'm speaking from a personal perspective not for anybody else I'm not saying everybody does it but you tend to overindulge on the local food and alcohol is freely available so you're drinking all the time so I decided that I was going to change my dietary habits and go on a like cleanse it well I, I wouldn't even call it a diet it's just a, a, a change of lifestyle I guess it's not a diet I'm not I'm not starving myself um, but I'm juicing a lot um, veg and fruit diet, uh, <laughs> diet. I keep <laughs> all right we'll call it diet um, I'm juicing a lot which is like vegetable juice and fruit juice and my health is just got better and better and better my chest infections totally gone um, I'm losing weight I'm sleeping a lot better I'm I'm get I was getting up in the morning at about five, six o'clock in the morning, and now I'm not getting up sometimes till eleven o'clock. I'm just dead, my I'm so relaxed and chilled. It's it's amazing. So um, we've come to the shop because Mel wanted some of her mum's food today, and we've got a problem with the internet. The internet keeps shutting down for one reason or another. We've had a lot of brownouts recently and last night we had a brownout and the internet went down as well. The electric come back on but the internet didn't. Um, and we only just paid the bill of the day so I can't see it being the bill. So we've got to go and sort that out at Caceres. Um The other good news for Mel and her family is uh, her sister's come back from uh, working abroad yeah she's not here long though baby she how long she here for oh she's only here a month so where's she working in school arab emirates arab emirates yeah um so kelly you've seen kelly walking around the shop that's her daughter so she's working abroad to help her daughter go to private school and stuff. So hat off to her. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't there for all the Pasalobon, was I, when it was being handed out? Not that I was interested in chocolate and all the other stuff and handbags. Of, uh, no, no, it's habit, it's habit of Filipino when they go to abroad and then when they, come, when they go back in the Philippines, they have a lot of Pasalobon. Especially mm. that that one is chocolate. Yeah. Um, she brought me, bless her, uh, 
it, it's like a three-in-one shaver thing. Razor. Razor, but the the shaver bit, it's it's not very good. Mine, my I had a Phillips with the three heads, and it's fantastic, and it kept my face lovely and clean, and it didn't rip my face to bits because I can't use a a normal. Uh, blade because it just cuts my face my face is that delicate yeah um, and unfortunately it it sat in a, a base charger and the base charger uh, died so I can't charge it and the annoying thing is I just bought two new heads for it I just ordered two new heads which was like 16 pounds each um, and then I, I used it for a day and then the charger wouldn't work so anyway that's life so um, we've got to go and sort Caceres out yeah and later they're gonna have a little party aren't they babe right so we also get asked a lot Chris what is it you eat um, now <laughs> i didn't really want to give a video on the stuff i ate because it was absolute rubbish and uh it was killing me basically you know it, it was your general filipino food and it's stuff that you know if you come from the west here and you've got any kind of medical issues you know unless you're a good cook and you can go out to the market and cook vegetables and eat a healthy lifestyle then this place is going to kill you because the the food is really bad for a, a western stomach i mean it's bad for filipinos but i think they might be a little bit more acclimatized than we are um anyway that said that's the reason i didn't do a video but now i want to show you how i've changed my lifestyle and how it's improved my health i'm losing weight very quickly in fact and i've actually gone on a, a vegetable and a fruit diet i don't like calling it diet because it's it's just how i'm changing it's not for a short period of time this is how i've got to live now um to keep my health good because i had a little bit of a a shock with my blood pressure it went seriously dangerously high and um, I had like uh, an occasion where I nearly passed out basically and that was the uh, red light to get me to change things so I'm just going to show you what I'm doing and to remind you my blood pressures plummeted to really better than normal better than it's ever been um my chest infection just went like overnight um my energy and everything's really up there i mean it's it's really good so this is just part of the process then i'm going to show you the veg that i juice uh, uh we bought this off lazada it's called the Nutribullet. It's really good. I've got a processor up there, but it's it's a juicer, but it's not that good. It it uh, it doesn't juice as well as this seems to juice. Uh, I have to add water to it, but once I've added the water um, and I've took it through the blender a couple of times, I get a lot more juice from it. It yeah, it's it's really good. So without further ado um now i've got an avocado here now when you take these out what you should do is dry them off and then blend them again uh, i've got a um a thing another cutter that is used for coffee beans but it's just as good for this and it it blends it into a powder and there's so many nutrients and good things in here plus the uh the help to um cure cancer these things as well because they've got uh, vitamins in them that uh, fight cancer so you take this stuff with your food and uh, it can prevent cancer 
Um, the best thing for that though is the B17 vitamin that you find in um, peaches and uh, was it apricots? The apricots is the highest B17 you can get. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a love Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a strong Savannah 